remember, one of our strategies that we talked about was our doubles method. So how do I know that this is a doubles method? They're the same. They're the same number. Very good. And we kind of got, we had to practice a little bit, but we kind of got pretty good at our doubles method, right? So doubles is a little bit easier than doubles plus one. Today, we are going to be talking about double plus one math facts. And the reason why they get this name is because this math fact looks very similar to this math fact, doesn't it? Do I know my doubles math fact? Raise your hand if you know what 8 plus 8 is. Good. What is 8 plus 8 first grade? It's 16. 16. Good job. This is just one number different. That is why it's called doubles plus one. So if I know that eight plus eight is 16, then eight plus nine must equal 17. So that is my strategy today, is my doubles plus one. That's what we're going to be looking at. My doubles, I knew was a doubles because they're the same number. If they are a double plus one, I know that they are a double plus one because they're sitting beside each other on the number line. If I look at the number eight and I look at the number nine, are they sitting beside each other on the number oh, line? Yeah. Yes, they are. If I had eight plus five, is that a double plus one? No. No, why not? Not they're not sitting beside each other on the number line. Okay, so that is a very quick and easy way to tell if it's a double plus one is if those two numbers are sitting beside each other. So that's what we're doing today. I need you guys to help me out. There is my fish tank. And remember we talked about this in science about how they need a certain habitat to live. Do you guys remember talking about that? So this habitat is the fish tank, right? So the fish survive in a fish tank in this aquarium because of its surroundings. Okay, so this is made for my fish. Here are three orange fish. and three striped fish. and one white fish. How many fish are in the fish <coughs> First of all, let's make this easier. How many orange fish did I have? First three? Three. Very good. Are we getting more fish or did we take some away? Getting more. Thank you. That's very important. We are getting more. So I'm going to put a plus fish. How many striped fish did I have? It's the same number. It's the same atom. So it is a double, double math fact. But then I said, is this all the fish in my aquarium? No, we have seven. No, we have one more. So I still have to add this one. But first three, a lot of you automatically said, oh, I know what three plus three is. Because we know our doubles, right? So three plus three equals what first three? Six. But do I have six fish in my fish tank? No, no, no. I have 
to add this one more. But was it adding my three to three a lot easier than having to add the whole thing? Okay, so now it's easier to do six plus one more equals seven. seven. So my sum is seven. This is what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about our doubles plus one more. Okay, so let's look at the other side. Okay, so if I have my cubes like this, I can tell girls that it is a doubles plus one math fact because it is only one cube taller. So instead of having to count all of those cubes, remember I showed you this before we went to recess? I just want to take it off, right? So then my cubes are even. And if my cubes are even, then what kind of math fact is it? It's a doubles. It's a doubles math fact. Do you know what 6 plus 6 is? Raise your hand if you know what 6 plus 6 is. Remember, think about your eggs. Think about your eggs. There's six on this side, there's six on this side. How many eggs are in a dozen? What is six plus six for straight? Twelve. Twelve. But do I have to add this one back in there? Yes. Yes, I do. But it was a lot easier to think of six plus six than it was to think of six plus seven, right? So six plus six equals twelve. Plus one more equals 13. 13. So my sum is 13. So do you see first thing how when I see a double plus one math fact, I think about my doubles first before I add my plus one. Because that makes it a lot easier. So what I did was I took off this extra one because that kind of makes things confusing. I'm going to put him off to the side for now. Okay, I'll bring him back later. But I want to do my doubles first before I add my one. So that's what I did here. I took this little guy off and I set him aside. So now instead of having six plus seven, I have six plus six. six and I added this one right there. 6 plus 6 equals 12. Do I have to add this one back? Yes, yes I do. So 12 plus 1 equals 13. So 6 plus 7 must equal 13. Wonderful job, Christy. Okay, now you are going to have to help me on this 